So why should I pick statistics GCSE over any other GCSE? Now, this is GCSE. Well, what is statistics? Well, the definition of statistics is that it's a practice or science of collecting and analyzing numerical data in large quantities, especially for the purpose of inferring proportions in a whole from those in a representative sample. What does all of this actually mean? Like, what is what is this sentence telling me? What is it telling me? What is it asking me to actually figure out? Well, the idea behind it is that in statistics, you take large amounts of data, and we we as people make data all the time. We take large amounts of data, but we don't study all the data. We take a specific amount of it, we study that specific amount of it, and we then behave as if that small amount represents the larger whole, which if you've collected data properly and you've selected it properly, it usually does. So what does statistics actually do? Well, it's us studying our surroundings, it's us studying our trends, and it's us just basically noticing the underlying maths behind all the little things and big things that we do. Now, how is statistics actually assessed in GCSE? Well, they are two papers of equal weighting, which means that they both contribute half of your mark, and they are each an hour and a half long. They each test the entire curriculum, which is split into three sections, collecting data, processing and representing data, and the study of probability. Okay, now the types of questions, similar as in maths, come in three different flavors. You have AO1 questions which are more than half of the paper, which is demonstrating knowledge and understanding using the correct terminology and notation, and just applying basic standard statistical techniques. So things like collecting and representing, and the more calculative sections. AO2, which is a quarter of the paper, or papers, interprets statistical information and results in context. So this is for you drawing conclusions from data that you're given or from data that you calculate. And AO3, which is less than a quarter, just a fifth of the, of the two papers, uh, says, assess the appropriateness of statistical methodologies and the conclusions drawn through the application of the statistical inquiry cycle. This is you analyzing the entire study cycle that someone has done for statistics, analyzing how have they collected it, how have they analyzed it, how have they represented it, and how valid was their method. Now, uh, in statistics, you will be creating different types of infographs. Okay? When you're actually working in the statistical field, it is not unusual for your skills as a statistician to also be put together with skills like art, with skills like graphic design, with many, many different things. So this is just one example of one infographic that some people might learn how to make. Okay, another one is different types of infographics going through a chain of events. Sometimes you're looking at presenting some different information and in multiple different elements. Sometimes you want to do a comparison of, let's say, male and female, or many, many other things. Of course, here, all the data is random numbers, but there's a lot of groundwork happening behind here. Now, these are just three examples of different careers that a statistician might do. So you could be an actuarial analyst, a civil service fast streamer, a data scientist, a financial risk analyst, many, many other careers. It is not necessary that you go into a purely statistical field after you've studied statistics. Every field requires a statistician. Every company has a market research department which requires a statistician. Uh, every scientific company, every scientific study requires a statistician or people who benefit from having statistical knowledge. Now, what type of students benefit from stats? Okay, there's three types of students who benefit from stats. If you're already quite comfortable and good at mathematics, then this is quite an easy GCC for you to excel in. Since you already have a mathematical mind, it is easy for you to pick up these extra topics, these extra concepts, and apply them. If you're a person who has a medium comfortability with maths, um, judges themselves as I'm an okay at it, but I don't excel at it, then this is just you 
trying it more and more, being exposed to it more and more, having a chance to revise it more often. If you're a student who currently is struggling with maths and would like extra help with it, then this course is also for you, as you will simply have a chance to practice those skills with an extra five hours a fortnight, but also anything you learn in the statistics degree, sorry, so this is GCSE, will be highly beneficial to you, for you in the maths GCSE. So any statistics questions that come up there, you will be excellent in. Okay, if you have any further questions, feel free to find me. Okay, the people teaching this course will be myself, uh, Mr. Armitage, potentially one other teacher, depending on the size of the classes and how many of you are interested, but it will most likely be myself teaching. Okay, if you have any questions, you know where to find me, you know how to email me.